Парикмахер ТВ Ричард Борд is not only award-winning celebrity hairdresser. He is so fantastic person with very great charisma and he is really leader. So when we came to his salon, we were really impressed. More than 80 persons in staff and all of them are doing something. So enjoy our video today with such person as Richard Ward. I hope you'll be as excited as I was. I am Richard Ward and I run one of the country's largest privately owned hairdressing salons. I have 85 people that work with me in one salon, this salon that we're sitting in here. Um, we do a thousand customers per week uh, in the spa and on the beauty side and hairdressing and color. So as you can see, um, I'm already going gray because <laughs> there's a lot, it's a, it's a, it's a big, big place, a big responsibility. I became a hairdresser, uh, really it was in my family, it was in my blood. My mother was a hairdresser and she had two salons, but very small salons in a little town called Folkestone in Kent, which is a little seaside town um, right on opposite France uh, on the coast, just on the, on the tip near Dover, you may know Dover, which is uh, quite a famous port here. And she had two small salons. Um, but she closed them when I was four. When I was four years old, she closed both of them because she always said she never could make any money. So she then, uh, my father and my mother turned the hairdressing salons into restaurants and they did, they did uh, much better at that. But so through my life, I always heard about the, the hairdressing salons and when she was, I can remember when I was four walking in, I remember her working on a Saturday in the salon when I was four years old. Um, I'll always remember those early, early, early days when she was, uh, was, a hair, was a hairdresser, but through, as I was growing up, we would sit around the table and hear stories about how they had the salons and how they never made any money, <laughs> but she really loved it, you know. Um, and also there was, uh, we had uh, so many photo albums. She used to do a lot of competitions and come to London and uh, she's very creative. When I was 16, it's quite a funny story. I wasn't thinking about doing hairdressing and I was away at an English boarding school. And my parents in the, uh, in the Easter holidays sat me down and said, next term, when you go back next term, this is, has to be your last term because we have money problems, we can't afford to pay the school fees anymore and you're going to have to leave. So that to me was the, the worst thing I could hear because I, um, I was enjoying being at school and I, was, I wanted to finish my education. And I was always very creative at school but I hadn't even thought about what I was going to do at that time. So I was really, really mortified. I was uh, you know, very worried about what I was going to do and I was going to have to leave this school and go and, uh, to, a, to a school where we didn't have to pay. Um, and I was very nervous about doing that. Anyway, that holiday, those summer holiday, that Easter holiday, my mother said, I have a gift voucher, a free haircut that one of my friends has given me um, and I'm going to go up to London, to one of London's top salons. Would you like to come? She said, if you come with me, she said, you have to be patient and you have to sit in the reception and wait for me to have my hair cut. And in return, I've saved up some money and I will buy you some clothes, right? So I'm 16. Anyway, so I go up to London and I'm sitting in this reception and it was one of the most famous salons of the time in 1983-84, it's called Michael John and it was in Mayfair in London. So I'm just sitting there, she goes off to have her hair cut and I'm sitting there and I'm sort of thinking, and suddenly I'm noticing everything that's going on. It's a really cool place, the music was playing, they were filming something, um, on uh, some guy cut doing a haircut, they were also doing a casting, there was these beautiful models walking in and out, 
and the place was absolutely rocking. I mean, it was just amazing atmosphere. And, um, and I was really impressed and I was thinking, oh God, this is, you know, this is fantastic. So when I left, so she finished having a haircut and I didn't mention anything, but I couldn't get it. I went back to school. I, f I had two more weeks left back at school and I'm thinking, what am I going to do? And I just thought, you know what? I had one of my friends was very wealthy and his parents had a flat in London and he was going to be moving up to London in September and he said to me why don't you come and live with me in my parents place um, just around the corner and I thought to myself god that sounds a great idea and I was thinking about I'd love to maybe I don't know where it came from but I thought I want to go and get a job in this this salon this fantastic salon and that way I don't have to go to a school that I don't know because I have to leave you know and I'd really like to give this a go I can go and live with my best friend and on basically that was in April and on in in the September I moved up to London with him I got a job in that very same salon as a trainee as an apprentice and um, on my 17th birthday I moved up to London and the next day started a job as an apprentice at Michael John on 25 pounds a week that was my first wage uh, washing hair and sweeping up just yes. absolutely absolutely not just as an assistant and my parents said and they were very very supportive but I think to be honest they were so grateful that they were so worried because they had terrible money problems that they were just so pleased that I'd found something and that I was going to try something because they knew I had to leave school and, I, and they were very very supportive but my mother said to me if, you, if you're going to do hairdressing don't forget we never made any money <laughs> but she said you've got to go to London and you've got to work at the best place and you've got to aim to have your your own business so the deal was you do it for six months you see if you like it if you don't like it you come back home and then you finish your studies you know and basically you know this is 35 years later or 30 years later so I you know I loved it I stuck with it um, and from the day I started as an assistant I always, always knew that I was going to have my own business. I really focused on my own business. But what I did think, I think I'd, I thought I would have a small something, you know, in London. I never dreamt that I would ever have this, you know, um, doing Kate Middleton's hair and lots of celebrities and all the TV that I do and our product range and this I, I just never ever dreamt that you know this would have happened really dear friends thank you for watching us thank you for your comments from day to day we try to develop ourselves and our project so watch our new video and i hope you like them Mm-hmm.